My boobies look bigger than this. Hey guys, it's Dan from World Mr. Grey, Dan Dav the Grey. It's been a while. Well, it hasn't. It's been about a week, but it always feels really long when I've made a, like a, a proper video. Someone in the comments the other day, I can't remember who unfortunately, asked if I could look at the Bizarre Bub. Bizarre Bub? Bizarre Bub? I think it's Bizarre Bub. I've only watched one of their videos before. We will be getting to the slapped ham breakdown analysis in the next video probably. But for now, we're going to look at B Bizarre Bub. As always, I've linked the video down below. Please go watch that first, like and subscribe, whatever you want to do, and come back and we'll see what we can see. For those new here, this this is not a debunking video. This is the breakdown and analysis video where we look at the clips and try and find ones to see is that worth a debunk, is that bloody bollocks. That's what we do. And my creaky bloody chair, which is doing my skull in right now. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, so annoying. So annoying. But anyway, we're going to look at... Hang on. That one there, Scary Comp V43. I don't know what V means. Version? Video, maybe? Probably video in it. So we're gonna have a look at that when you see it. There's a lot of when you see it on this. Look look at that baby's face. That's hilarious. <laughs> Before we go any further, again, for those new year, I talk a lot, I pause a lot. If you don't like it, you're in the wrong channel. But anyway. And nothing. <laughs> I, I'm doing my own editing already. I almost forgot. Wales beat Australia in the rugby essay. <laughs> Whether we deserved it is another thing. But still, we bloody beat Australia. We haven't beat Australia for a long time. So we, we're taking this win. Don't hate me, Australia. <laughs> right, I'm getting into the bloody video. Recording her mother in the kitchen. When something downright creepy is caught on camera. Downright creepy. Eliza Ortiz, who suggested the video, writes... Absolutely terrifying. The mother had no clue that the video her daughter had taken would contain something that would chill her to the core. Her daughter was playing with her phone and ended up recording something straight out of a horror movie. Watch closely. I'm ready. You'll see it. This is what she caught. Am I supposed to be seeing something creepy or what? Is something going to jump out at me? The music made me ready for a jump then. <laughs> it's the shadow dude! <laughs> right, my, my first thought was like, maybe it's just someone playing a prank on the girl filming, the, the daughter filming, whatever. But then the mother continues to film and then she goes into like cliched stuff. Oh, what is this? This is weird. And carries on filming, which tends to me like it's set up. Can I prove that? No, I can't. But that's what it tends. That's what it seems to be like me, uh, to me. In another room, there appears to be a tall silhouette standing completely still, <clears throat> and then disappearing as soon as the camera pans back to where it was spotted. The figure doesn't appear till later in the video, which makes this even more strange. Just like viewers, the mother can't think of anything to explain this. All right, that's bizarre, bub. Link his videos, no he doesn't, okay. Because <laughs> I'd like to see the original video. Just to see if there's any jumps in it. So, I think it's set up because of the way the mother keep, carries on filming and the way she starts speaking is very cliched. I can't prove that, so I'm just going to move on. It's the shadow dude. What more can you say? Now, I can't help but think that this may have been someone who broke in and was trying to hide, but quickly fled after being spotted by the camera. But of course... Now that is a grasp. Wrong. <laughs> I'll leave it to you to figure this one out. <clears throat> Ghost or not, the sudden appearance of whoever or whatever this is 
is enough to keep. Hang on, hang on, wait, wait, wait. I'm sure I just saw something then. Ah, oh, I see it now. <laughs> I see it now. There's a cut. It's very subtle. Yeah, I can see it now. Right, see the kid. I can't, I can't show it to you that well, but there's a cut just after the kid's arm leaves the frame of the video. And obviously this gets whoever put that there in the first place to move it out of the way. It's not a person standing there. I think it's just like a, a shadowy cloak made to look like a person. But when the, when his arm, the, the second it leaves the frame of the video, there's a jump cut. Just a simple cut. And obviously, whoever's filming it stood there. I don't think it's the daughter filming, to be honest with you. I think it's someone else. Just They put the daughter's uh, voice in. And there's a cut. So as soon as his arm leaves that frame of window, watch for the cut. Ready? Cut. <laughs> and obviously, when you swing back, there's nothing there. Well, that's where the cut is. Ready? I'm going to say it again. Cut. C-U-T, not cut. Cut. All right, so we see the shadow dude. I'm going to say cut. Ready? Shadow dude. Cut. <laughs> and then we pound back. No shadow dude. Mystery solved. <laughs> so there you go. The uh, Before I saw the cut, the mother who carried on filming was like, this is weird. This has never happened before. You know, it's there's certain things you can see. And when you listen to it, it's like that would never they would never say stuff like that. Or they would never do that. Obviously, you know, they're just setting up a film. Or an ARG maybe, I don't know, one of those. But there's a definite cut there when the boy's arm leaves the frame of window. Window frame, I should say. And obviously that gives whoever's in the background who put it there in the first place a chance to move it out of the way. Moving on. Number four. Live feed videos may just be the most convincing type of paranormal footage as no editing can be done on something that is happening in real time. True. But every um, ghost video live chat I've seen is one of two things. I haven't seen the clip yet, but I'm just going to preface this with what I've seen in various paranormal live chats. If it's a peekaboo ghost, peek ghost, you know, there's just their mate in the background. I don't care what anyone says, it's their mate or family member, right? If there's like, I've seen some live chats, it's live. It's not actually live. They've just <laughs> edited the video to make it look live uploaded it with obviously certain editing effects in it i'm not saying this is what we're about to see but that's my experience of um of uh, live supposed live uh video of paranormal happenings for anyway it also makes the video a whole lot creepier as the following clip shows agustina de Villa is chatting with strangers online through a live video when the following is captured be sure to look closely at the background for this one or you'll miss it I'm gonna look at the background. I know you can't see because my stupid fat head is in the way, isn't it? I'm gonna look at the background there. What's supposed to be happening? I don't, don't understand what's supposed to be happening. The mirror behind Agustina shows that someone or something is standing on her bed. What? But if we look at the bed itself, oh, right. <laughs> we can see that nothing is there okay. except what appears to be a black bag. I, I couldn't figure out what I was supposed to be looking at. In response then. to this chilling footage. Isn't it Amigle though? The Amigle they use, and look at what it says right by there. But in my experience, everything. I've seen on about Amigle. Didn't Nuke Top 5 start on Amigle by pranking people with paranormal things? I'm sure he did. Everything I've seen of Amigle is just people putting like supposed live videos up. You can call, I think you can call it like, random people or something. The ones I see, most of them are just people pranking people. <laughs> Could that be one of them? Who knows? But it's interesting, I must say. I <laughs> know. 
The only explanation I can think of is that this might have been a glitch with the live feed. It but could be very in the video, possible, but it may be something else. Could this be footage of something paranormal? Or had something else been captured? I'd love to see the live, not the live footage, but I'd love to see the full video of that. Unfortunately, Bizarre Bob doesn't link his uh, videos, but uh, I would love to see the live, the full footage. August. You can, you can, by the way, mind, where you, they say you can't do any editing in live, uh, in real time. You can actually, if that area behind her has a green screen, which a lot of these live cams do have a, a green screen. And she could have set it up beforehand. I'm not saying that is the case, but I'm just saying that is a high possibility that can it can happen. So. What I would like to see, if in the full footage, if, if her arm goes up there at all at any point. I want to see her arm go behind her. That's what I want to see. And then you'd know. <laughs> Now the only thing I can say that there is a lot of a lot of artifacting wobble around that area there Which suggests to me it could easily be a, a green screen behind her and like I said Omegle in my experience is pretty much used to prank people <laughs> with ghost stuff I've seen so many channels do it see that area right behind her and not once does her arm go up there I'd love I'd love to see the full footage of that maybe it does I don't know but in this entire clip not once does her arm go behind and cross over the pathway of that mirror image. But like I said, there is also a lot of artifact and a lot, a lot of like wobble around some uh, that entire area. Usually when that happens, it's, it could be a number of things. It could be just a low quality camera, a low quality webcam, or it could be that something's been added in and it's been given a soft edge. And then when it gets rendered out, you can get that wobble effect and art artifact. In. It just, that's what happens. It's the same things when you mask something and you can get that exact same thing unless you got like a clear footage and you know you, you tidy up the lines you do get that wobble and uh, artifacting but like i said not once does her arm go behind that area so unfortunately i can't say much more than that it's just my pure speculation but that's where i think it is i think it's just she's pranking someone <laughs> but i can't prove it i will just say that right now so moving on Number Peachy three Keith suggested the following Peachy video Keith. and writes, this is a video of a father who has been documenting strange happenings inside his house. <coughs> he just moved in and can't sleep at night out of fear that something is watching him. In this video, both he and his son are home alone. After hearing strange noises from the kitchen, he recorded this video. This is what he caught. Yeah. These all right, I'll let it play first. <laughs> right, I'm not gonna play play now. Right, th these kind of videos, I've seen a thousand of these where the, the door is banging, someone's banging the door, they open it, there's nothing there. Obviously they're filming it the entire time. It's usually on TikTok I see this stuff. Like I I don't know if this is actually off TikTok, I have no idea. But these the exact example I always say when, when someone does it, it goes viral. And then it, about a million other people copy exact same shit and re upload it. Look, I got a ghost. The, the door, someone's banging the door, but when I open it, they're gone. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea if this is a TikTok video, but it's basically a TikTok video. The video pretty much speaks for itself. It does. Peachy Keith believes that a poltergeist might be responsible for the strange activity that was caught on camera. <clears throat> now, a case could be made that the video's audio was edited by inserting the sound of somebody banging on a door. Well done, bub. But given that the father has been experiencing other strange occurrences, this might be real. I'll let you come up with your own opinion. I'm gonna go by Bub's opinion right there, that the audio was added in of the banging and he just opened the door. <laughs> it's one of the most easiest ones you can do. And like I said, I've seen about a thousand videos of doing the exact same shit, usually on TikTok. And they, when something like, like that becomes popular, everyone else wants to make their paranormal video. So anyway, moving on. Number two. 
The photo you're about to see was submitted by Kyle Kuzma, who <coughs> writes, It was my cousin's birthday, and we all came outside to take a picture. Nobody was inside the house. This is a very old picture taken in 2013. I'm 16 now, <coughs> and this photo will forever haunt me. A shadowy figure can be seen photobombing behind this group. If no one was inside the house, as Kyle states, then who was this? Kyle further adds that this couldn't have been a person, as the lighting in the photo seems to suggest otherwise. Right. It can't be the shadow of one of the kids from The Flash, okay? It can't be that, because you would see the shadows of the other kids in the background as well. And the camera's too high in the air to make that shadow. It was, a, it was a photo taken almost 12 years ago, so you can't. It's really hard to um, determine anything on photographs. It is really hard. You know, could it have been put in? Yes, it could have. But without the original photograph, we'll never know. I mean, that could absolutely be the original photograph. Who knows? I'm going to chalk this one down to I do not know right now. That's it. That's it. I'm not saying that it's a ghost or anything. I'm not. I'm really not. <laughs> but I'm just not sure what's going on there. I think it's the flash photography. It is still possible that there's just someone in the background. Even though there is a light source up there. The the flash of the photograph could have messed with the, um, with the exposure of the camera. And that's why you can't see the background or the person in the background. I'm not saying there is that. I'm just saying that is a high possibility also. But I'm just going to move on. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. There you go. What do you think it is? I'll put it down to you. Let me know in the comments what you think that photo, what's going on in that photograph. I don't think it's staged. I don't think it's staged. But I also think it could easily be um, a rational explanation. So I'm going, I'm just going to move on. Number one. The video you're about to see was posted by Andy Winehouse, who in a follow-up video recorded this. Okay, for anybody asking. This is my family home. I grew up here. And we've never had a single experience like this. I, I don't know what is going on. I'm getting a lot of comments saying I'm doing it for views. And I'm doing it for likes. And I, I promise you I am not. Don't like the video, don't comment if you don't want to. I just need somebody who knows what this is. What's he doing? I don't know where he's... Just reach out. <laughs> I don't care if it's in a comment or privately. Just, <clears throat> just reach out. And please just help me. I don't know what to tell my wife when she gets home. I can't wife! I thought it was like a 12-year-old kid speaking. <laughs> and everything's just going to right now. And I'm not trying to be dramatic about this. But I have no idea what to do. He does sound a bit and dramatic, I must say. All day has just been freaking me out. And I want to think this is just in my head. But I keep listening to it over and over and over again. Is there somebody, please? Why is he just somebody walking back and forth the bathroom? I don't get it. I don't get where I'm supposed to be watching you. As you can tell by the video, <laughs> Andy is in total shock and cannot process the strange incident that took place inside his home. Luckily, he was able to record this incident in case no one believed him. What? I don't care. Andy writes, I don't know what to do at this point. Things got weird last night, and I had to sleep in my car. I am safe, but I am not doing well, and I need help. This is what he caught. Oh, this... I've seen this one, man, for crying out loud. I can't remember which one I saw her on. It's the one where he hears his own voice. What a load of shit. <laughs> it sounds like Mickey Mouse is calling him. Uh huh. And rest assured that he's not losing his mind, as the video shows that someone or something <clears throat> is mimicking his own voice. Adding a voice in and just walking away from the microphone. <laughs> Is one of the simplest things you can do. Now, if if you want to believe that it's it's his own voice, 
talking back to him, that's fine. <laughs> I think it's the biggest pile of shit I've ever seen. Or listened to, in this case. Andy Winehouse. Is that, if that is indeed your real name. <laughs> oh, Dan. Dan, look behind you. Dan. Come here. Dan. Look behind you. This might have been a friend or someone he knew that was pulling a prank on him. However, if viewers believe that this may be a skinwalker, which is a type <laughs> a of skinwalker, that that's a body. bloody grasp. But of course, it's up to now you that is to jumping. To whether or not something <laughs> supernatural was caught on camera. Andy is certain that he did. But for now, the video remains a mystery and is left open to. I can't remember what video I, I saw that clip in. About a week ago, and I, I said, um, I think it was from the Entity, 1980 version. Someone corrected me in the comments said, no, it's not from the Entity. But I'm fairly sure it was. <laughs> Where the mother's voice is calling her from the, the other room. When she goes there, the mother comes and what's what's wrong, honey? Yeah, it was like that. And it is scary, the film, the Entity, not this bullshit. But um, that's pretty much what he's doing. Oh, that's watching, it. Okay. And I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> okay, well, that was Bizarre Bub V, v Video 43. I enjoyed it. There was nothing there that which I thought to maybe it needs to debunk. There's nothing there. The number one video was the biggest pile of bollocks I've ever seen. <laughs> and I saw, I saw it already like a week ago. But I enjoyed that. It was a couple of good clips there, you know, enjoyable clips. The photograph, I have no idea. It could be a number of things. I would I would list up at least 20 things it could be before I jump to It's a Shadow Dude. In fact, I'd list about 50 things it could be before a Shadow Dude. But um, but yeah, I enjoyed. So that was bizarre, bub. Very bizarre. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you like this video. Leave a sub if you're new to my channel. I do these quite often. And I will be back soon. Very soon. Probably tomorrow or the day after or something. I don't know. Next couple of days with more videos. And that's it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye for now. Dan. Oh, Daddy. Come to play.